Hi, I'm Chris from Fiberglast. Today we're going to discuss epoxy resins in general and the epoxy resins that we carry on Fiberglass.com. There are three main types of resin used to make composite parts and molds, polyester, vinyl ester, and epoxy. We carry resins of each type and, as you might expect, each type offers unique benefits and drawbacks that must be considered when selecting your resin. There are many advantages of epoxy compared to other resin systems. Epoxy resins are typically the highest strength resins in the industry. They offer the strongest bond between the resin and reinforcement and allow for the construction of the lightest parts and most durable molds. Epoxy resins are typically chosen for their excellent mechanical properties and dimensional stability. When properly cured, they offer good chemical and heat resistance and extremely low shrinkage. Since epoxy resins bond to dissimilar materials and previously cured materials, they're a great option for repairs. Most epoxy resins can be post-cured with heat to improve their strength, service temperature, and dimensional stability. These properties combine to make epoxy resins an excellent choice for the strongest and most precise parts and molds. Because heat will cause post-curing, parts should be cured at a temperature that matches or exceeds their expected maximum service temperature. If an epoxy part or mold is subject to a service temperature higher than it was cured, it can distort or warp. Epoxy is the best resin type to use with carbon fiber reinforcements. Carbon fibers are very difficult to bond to, and the cross-linked bonding of epoxy resins to carbon fiber offers a strength that cannot be matched with polyester or vinyl ester resins. Epoxy resin also forms the strongest bond to fiberglass, Kevlar, and sandwich core materials. For this reason, epoxy resin is the primary choice for structural applications. Epoxy resins do have their drawbacks. These include being more expensive than polyester or vinyl ester resins and typically having longer cure times. Epoxy resins will also turn yellow and oxidize when exposed to UV light, including sunlight. Due to their mix ratios and precision required when measuring, they are typically considered more difficult to work with than polyester or vinyl ester resins. And lastly, they are more demanding when it comes to moisture and temperature variations during mixing and application. So, if you're working in a high humidity environment, you'll probably have problems getting your epoxy resin to cure. Common uses for epoxy resins include aerospace and aircraft applications, automotive and racing, military, defense, and marine applications. They're even used for sporting applications, including snowboards, skis, or hockey sticks. Epoxy resins can be used for most general purpose hand layups, mold construction, and almost any composite part. There are many types of epoxy resins in the market and an even wider range of products simply referred to as epoxy. Fiberglass epoxy resins are intended to be used for laminating composites and they are all first quality. With first quality resins, you don't have to worry about batch to batch variations like you would with lower quality resins. With our resins, the color, viscosity, laminating and strength properties will all be consistent batch to batch. We have two options for epoxy resin our System 2000 General Purpose Resin for room temperature applications, and our System 3000 High Temperature Epoxy Resin for higher temperature applications. To learn more about each of these resins, including their physical attributes and specific uses for each, be sure to check out their product pages and videos on our website. Thanks for watching Fiberglass on YouTube. Remember to check out our epoxy resins and all of our other products on Fiberglass.com. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to watch more, be sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video.